If you have a WordPress website, you'll know how important it is to get a really solid contact form plugin that allows you to collect information from visitors from your website. Now, lots of them do just focus on the Contact Us page, but today I've got access to Bitform, which is a really impressive plugin. You can install this on multiple websites. I'll come to the deal terms later, but let me show you how quick and easy this is to use. So I've got it set up. You'll need to install the free plugin and then there's a pro plugin that you install as well. Activate that and that gives you access to all the pro features. So you could go ahead and try this via the free plugin first. Once it's installed, you come to the form template section. So they've done a lot of the hard work for you because if you're just looking to get a basic contact form up and running, so for example, with this one, you've, you need to collect name, email, the message. You've got a slightly different version here where it's got the shading in the background. And we've got another simple contact form, first name, last name, and now split out, email message. And if we scroll down, I'm not going to go through them all, but you can see we've got loads of different options. So these are contact forms for newsletters. So you can collect just a simple email address. But if we scroll down, we come to the more complicated form. So here we've got a booking forms so this allows people to book meetings with you we've got conference registrations if we keep going down further job application forms we've got grade book form we've got academic advisor meeting form we've got custom complaints form we've got payment forms as well because this also happens to integrate with payment platforms so you've got loads of options there let's just go with a super basic one we'll just come back to the top and we'll just use this template. The interface is super slick. You see how quick that loads. So it's setting up with name, email, message. What if you want to collect a phone number as well? Well, you simply just drag over like so. There it is. We can click on this. And if we want to say phone number instead, so super quick to set up. Down the side here, we have all the different options. So you've got first name, last name, text, multi text, numbers, select options, radio buttons, check boxes, loads of different things that you can add on. And it's all done by a simple drag and drop. So I'm in the UK, I don't the GDPR consent agreement. Now to avoid spam, you've also got the options of things like recapture, turnstile, and hcapture, which I've not tried before. You need to set up an account with the various providers, put those details in. And then when we drag it on, you can see here I need to actually set up my keys very easy to do though. So look at all these options down the side. This would allow you to actually set up quite complicated forms as well. So I'm just setting up a basic contact form, but you could set up something to collect information from clients, like a, a client survey, where they then sign at the bottom and have to make a payment to you. So it could be, uh, maybe you're, you're a baker and you make custom cakes, you want to select, you want them to select the design, give you some information, make a payment, that's all possible. So once you've started to add your fields, you might want to customize this some more. Very simple to do, just click the field you want to edit, as I just showed you before, there's the phone number. But what if we want to make this look a little bit nicer? Let's add a leading icon in search over 10,000 icons. So let's have a ring ring. Now it says download and save because once you've selected that icon, it's now downloaded to your site and you can use it again. If we wanted to, if we said email and we could say leading icon again. And now if I go to download icons, you can see I've got two there. If I wanted to reuse the phone, simply click it and it's there. So you say you have to search through icons over and over again. This right hand panel gives you all the different settings you can select whether it's required, whether it's hidden, read only. There's, there's loads to dig into there to really customize it. But the out-of-the-box settings should work fine. This is only if you want to tweak things like the um, numbers and what, what examples are in there. You're going to need to edit some of those. For example, if you're adding a radio button, if we click on that, this is where you can edit the options. So option one, option two, option three. So now they're A, B, and C instead of one, two, three. And that now updates it here. Super quick and easy to do this. We can add helper text at the bottom. So again, we add the helper text here. Now, if you're worried that you want to collect a lot of information and it's going to look a bit long or a bit overwhelming, you can add steps. So, and it adds this cool little step section at the top. So we're now on step two. So let's add uh, some more text we might want. You might want to add a file upload, some checkboxes. Okay. 
and then we can add another step step three here we can add a slider so sliders are great if you're doing some sort of survey color picker so maybe if you're a designer you want people to be able to tell you what colors they want decision box and uh, let's add a signature just to finish it off so now i've created this form obviously i've not customized this all i'm just giving you a very quick demo what can you actually do with it like how do you actually get it on the site well you first publish it and you get this short code bit form id equals three we can copy that i've headed over to pages i've hit add a page just to demo this but you could add it to any page you like on wordpress and all we have to do is say short code put the short code in push the page or update it and that's it your form is now ready to use and it looks really nice very quick to load here's the form it doesn't really make sense but if i just step through it you can see we've got option abc i can send next so if it's required it will prompt the user if they've missed it out but the checkbox is you can add the file click next and what i've not done i've just realized i need to move the submit button and then this is the signature section if you wanted to add on so if i go back previous previous and say submit now when we return to the dashboard this is the contact form i set up you can see we've got a completion rate of one so let's head to the contact form and we can have a look at the entries and here's the entry i put in we can edit this if we get some more information or if there's been a typo and importantly if you're not going to be doing anything within wordpress with this if you're not pushing this information anywhere else you can also export it you can export how many and then you could import that elsewhere but if that feels like a little bit too manual you'll be glad to know there are integrations so bitform can integrate with all these different providers you probably recognize some of these some of them are previous appsumo deals so sending blue i think has was on appsumo you've got crms you can push information to crms to onedrive na10 becoming very popular webhooks zapier i think pabli's on here as well if you're not sure if one's on there just search there you go hit pabli this integration does not require authentication you can integrate directly with any form it gives you the instructions to integrate with Pabli, create edit form, go form settings, integrations, select Pabli, and complete the required steps. So just an example of one that isn't just a straight instruction, a comma mail, if we click in, they include a video link. So you can go and see the tutorial. You've got the integration. You'd provide your authentication token. And then this would allow you to collect form information and put it into your Acumba Mail account. Before I show you something really cool to do with PDFs and Bitforms, I'd first like to thank today's video sponsor which is BitApps, the maker of Bitforms. They provided me with the plugin to actually try out. You can currently get it on AppSumo, lifetime deal, two plans, super simple. It's just either the normal plan, plus plan, or the agency plan. $79, $158. There's just one difference between the two plans and that's just the number of websites with the first plan it's just five websites so if you've just got your own website and maybe another website perfect for that if you're an agency or you happen to have a lot of different websites you're going to want plan two which is for an unlimited number of websites you can install this on as many as you want so i'll put an affiliate link down below so you can go check out the details as i say exactly the same for both bar the number of websites now let me demo a very cool feature which i think opens up a lot of possibilities so i'm going to create a new form and for this demo let's go with job application i'm not going to edit anything about the template so i've published that now when i go back i'm going to go to the settings for the form and i'm going to go down to pdf templates I'm going to add a new template and we'll call this um, job info pack. So what you can do in this editor is add your information and it will create a file, but it can merge in information that the candidate has sent you. So I've just got a really rough draft here. In this situation, let's pretend that the job application is for a solar panel installation job and I've had ChatGPT just write something up. So instead of applicant name there, I'm going to insert the form field of full name because that's what's on the form. Depending on the information you've collected, you could then customize the PDF that's going to get sent to the person who submitted the form. 
Now, in this case, there's not that much customization to do because the form they're filling out is going to be about them. But if you were asking them questions, that could then result in a more personalized, you know, maybe different headings or whatever you want to do. I can see there's lots of opportunities here. But here we've got a nice little info pack. So when someone applies, they can be sent this PDF that tells them all about the company and what the next steps are, etc., etc. So we've got the um, company info. You can add a password as well, which is pretty cool. And this override default settings is to do with the default settings within the plugin. So you can have a set of default settings around paper size, orientation, and so on that apply whenever you generate a new template. But if in this case, we wanted it to be landscape or maybe you're in America, you want letter rather than A4, you can change that just for this particular PDF that's generated. And we say update template. Once you have your form in place and the PDF set up, there's a couple of other things you need to do. The first is to set up the autoresponder email. So I've gone ahead, you simply come into the email templates, create a new template. And in here, this is just the email. It doesn't have anything to do with the PDF at this moment in time. You can give it a template name, you put the subject in, and you can actually merge in information they've sent you. So here, this uh, B47 is a form field. This is the full name. And so I've just put here, hi, name, thank you for your application for, and it's merging in the job they've applied for. We'll get back to you within two weeks. Nice and simple. So the second part is to set up some conditional logic. This basically tells the plugin what to do when the contact form is submitted. So in this case, it's going to show a success message and it's going to trigger the autoresponder email I've just set up. The action runs whenever a record is created on form submission, only on form submission. But you see there's other options there for you to have a little play with. Action, behavior, I've got it set as always, but again, depending on what you're doing, there's lots of conditional logic you can put in place, so always. So for email notification, I've selected the email template autoresponder. I've set it to email. Now that just means that it's going to merge in the person's email that they enter when it's sending it out, so that's what you want. You can have who it's from, from name, uh, you've got the CC, BCC, reply to. And then down here, you can see PDF attachment template job info pack. That means when a form is submitted, it's going to send an email. And with the email, it's going to have the job info pack. This is an example of the autoresponder email that's arrived. It's merged in my name. It's merged in the job I applied for. And then down the bottom, you can see the attachments that I requested it send as well. We can open this up. I've got a few formatting issues I'd need to resolve if this was real, but you can see it has also merged in my name within the PDF, making this a really personalized experience. And then it's just got all that information that I pasted in. In this particular example, I didn't use any images. I would recommend you trigger this yourself as I've done and just check what it is the person is receiving, what they're seeing, make sure it looks really good. So that is my very quick overview and demo of how to use this and get this set up very quickly. But I'm really just scratching the surface. This is a very comprehensive plugin. You've got options around the confirmations. As I've shown you, there's loads of potential within conditional logic for you to do different things. You can have the templates, I've shown you the integrations. There's the form abandonment, which I've not experimented with. You've got various data and views, conversational forms. You've got landing form. And it appears that that could be embedded in a site that isn't WordPress as well, which is really interesting. We've done the PDF templates. You've got double opt-in and you've got WordPress authorization. So there's that's just on one form. There is so much packed in here that I think if you're in the market for a WordPress form builder, you want to go click on my affiliate link below, check it out, let me know what you think in the comments.